What is up everyone? Welcome back to Whales and Locks. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be looking at USC at UCLA. Uh, the line in this game is USC minus one and a half and the over under is 134 and a half. So this is the second time these two will match up as USC took UCLA to the shed the first time out winning that game 66-48. Uh, um, as UCLA shot just three of 19 from three point land in that game. Um, on the USC side, they sit at 20 and six, 14 and five in the Pac-12, putting them tied with Oregon right now for first place. Uh, USC hasn't quite been the same lately, losers of three of their last five. However, a lot of that can just be attributed to the fact that they backloaded their schedule with a lot more tougher teams in the Pac-12. Um, as their last five games, they've seen Arizona, Oregon, Colorado, Utah, and Stanford, and now UCLA here to finish it out. Um, USC is led by their potential number two pick in the draft, um, and Evan Mobley, who can really do it all. Uh, the man puts up 16.2 points per game, 8.5 boards, shoots 58% from the field, 71% from the line, and blocks 2.8 balls a game. So what really can't this guy do? Um, they've also been great against the spread this season, going 16-10. and 10. And this game also obviously means so much to them as they still have the opportunity to win the Pac-12 with a win and an Oregon loss to Oregon State. Um, on the UCLA side, they sit at 17-7, and 13-5 in the Pac-12, putting them a half game in third behind USC and Oregon. Um, this team, too, has the opportunity to win the Pac-12 championship, but they, need, they do need the same exact thing as USC here with a win and an Oregon loss. Um, this UCLA team is like the Minnesota, the Pac-12, I noticed, as just an unbelievable bunch at home. Um, on the season, they're 11-0 at home, 7-4 against the spread in home games. Uh, you could, however, argue, which is fair, uh, that they haven't seen many of the best Pac-12 teams this season at home, as their best home wins are against Colorado and Arizona. Um, they did avoid Stanford and Oregon at home, which was good for them. And But hey, you play who's on the schedule. So um, I just think in this game, we're not going to see UCLA shoot 18% again from the three-point line. I think these teams are pretty ta pretty evenly talented. USC is probably a little better. Um, and if you give me a team who's undefeated at home as the dog in this game, I can't pass that up. So I'll take UCLA here plus one and a half. And I do think they probably win the game outright as well. Um, to at least secure second in the Pac-12. So if you did enjoy this content and would like to see more picks in the future, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.